The IF function is the most important logical function in Excel. The IF function is used to test for a condition and return one value if the condition is true and another value if the condition is false. To illustrate how the IF function works, let's look at an example. Here we have a table of data that consists of item and quantity columns. Let's use the IF function to return a value of reorder if the quantity is less than 10. To get started, let's begin by entering the IF command. As you can see, the IF function takes three parameters, with the last parameter being optional. The first parameter is the condition or value to test. In our example, we want to test to see if the value in cell B2 is less than 10, so we will enter B2 is less than 10 as the condition to test for. The second parameter we will need to enter is the value to return if the condition is true. In our example, we will enter the value reorder. This means that if the value in cell B2 is less than 10, the if function will return reorder. The third parameter is optional. If provided, it contains the value that will be returned if the condition evaluates to false. To highlight a common mistake, we will leave this parameter out in our example. Now that we have entered all of the if function's parameters, let's complete the command to examine the result. You should see the value reorder appear in cell D2. Since cell B2 contains the value of 7, which is less than 10, the if function will return reorder. Now let's copy our formula into cells D3 to D5. Notice that in cells D3 and D4, the value false appears. Since we didn't specify a third parameter in our formula, the if function will return false when the condition evaluates to false. Many make the mistake of assuming that by leaving out the third parameter, the if function will return a blank result when the condition is false. To avoid unexpected results, it is a good idea to always enter the third parameter. So let's rewrite our formula to return a blank value when the condition evaluates to false. In cell E2, we will enter our if command and again use B2 is less than 10 for the first parameter and reorder for the second parameter. This time, however, we will enter two quotation marks as a third parameter. This represents a blank value or empty string. Now let's complete the command and copy our formula into cells E3 to E5. This time we can see that instead of returning false for rows 3 and 4, the if function has returned a blank cell. So when you write your if function, remember to include both the value to return when the condition is true, as well as the value to return when the condition is false. This completes our example of how to use Excel's if function. If you would like to see more if examples, or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.